LG Chem just signed a contract with Tesla to provide the batteries for the Model Y made in China at Gigafactory Shanghai. Let's discuss the details of this announcement and also I want to provide some evidence why I believe that these cells produced by LG Chem for Tesla will be in a larger 4680 tabless format. I'm Jonathan and welcome to CleanerWatt. Ray for Tesla on Twitter recently tweeted out that the Chinese media is reporting that LG Chem has signed a contract to supply Giga Shanghai with NCM batteries for the Made in China Model Y. I did a little more digging to confirm this and I found several other media outlets in China that were also reporting this same story. For instance, this particular article says LG Chem will supply batteries for Tesla Model Y Shanghai project. As we learned at Battery Day, Tesla plans to continue to source battery cells from their battery suppliers like LG Chem, CATL, and Panasonic even as they ramp up production and prototype their new 4680 cells. They also talked about the fact that they plan to use different cell chemistries in different applications and they talked about the benefits of LFP or iron phosphate cells where energy density is not as important but you're trying to get the cost down. And then they talked about the nickel and manganese based batteries like are going to be used in the Model Y in China per this announcement. How they're very good for long ranges but they're not quite as energy dense as the NCA or the nickel coal cobalt aluminum cells currently made by Tesla in Gigafactory, Nevada. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, I believe this new cell that's going to be a nickel manganese based cell is actually going to be made in the 4680 cell format. And I want to discuss some reasons why, but first of all, we need to talk about the 4680 cell format. We know that the cell format to be that large, it has to be tabless. So if LG does make this large cell for Tesla for the Model Y, it's going to be tabless. But the 4680 cell format is chemistry agnostic diagnostic, meaning you can use other cell chemistries in it. You can manufacture the 4680 battery cell with an NCA chemistry, nickel cobalt aluminum, or a nickel manganese based cell, or even an iron phosphate based cell. The format itself does not determine what chemistry you can use. Also in a recent video that I published about Panasonic making 4680 battery cells for Tesla, I talked about Tesla's new structural battery pack with a front and rear casting and the structural battery pack in the middle. And I talked about how much more sense it would make for Tesla to go ahead and start producing the 4680 battery cells even if it didn't have the same chemistry or the same manufacturing process. Yes, it would be a tabless cell, but it wouldn't necessarily have to be produced with a dry battery electrode process by Panasonic or in this case LG. This makes even more sense when you talk about Tesla setting up Model Y production in China at Gigafactory Shanghai. Why would they build this production line with the old technology, implementing the 2170 cells into a module and then into a pack and then inserting that into the frame of the vehicle? Why would they do that instead of from the very beginning of production starting with the latest technology that they're developing and that is the structural battery pack with the front and rear castings? And if they're going to do that, they need 4680 battery cells to fit that format. This is one of the biggest reasons why I believe that these new LG Chem cells, these nickel manganese based cells made by LG for Tesla will be in the 4680 cell format with a tabless design. There's also several other pieces of data and news that has come out recently that helps support my conclusion. For instance, Ray for Tesla recently posted a video of a camouflaged Model Y on Twitter near Gigafactory Shanghai. And you have to ask yourself, why is Tesla camouflaging a Model Y in China? Everyone already knows what the Model Y looks like, right? Well, my theory is that Tesla is going to start the Gigafactory Shanghai production line with a full structural battery pack with front and rear castings and that it somehow slightly changes the design of the Model Y, maybe in small ways, but enough that it would be very obvious. And so they're wanting to hide this until it's completely worked out and the processes are finished and they're ready to reveal the Made in China Model Y. This structural battery pack is going to be key for the Model Y as Tesla ramps up production and tries to reduce the cost of producing the Model Y. 
Another piece of data that really helps support the fact that Tesla is going to begin Shanghai production with a front and rear casting and structural battery pack and complete package is just the sheer size of the die cast machine at Gigafactory Shanghai. Here's a picture that Tesla recently shared in the Q3 2020 investors letter. Also in October, Electrek reported, quote, Tesla battery supplier LG Chem prepares to triple cylindrical cell production and hence at own 4680 cell. In this article, Electrek cited a Reuters article which said, quote, Electric vehicle battery maker LG Chem plans to triple production capacity for cylindrical batteries used by Tesla and others and is considering expansion in Europe and North America to meet surging demand. And this Reuters article went on to say something that caught a lot of people's attention, quote, LG Kim also said it was developing new form factor cylindrical cells which will boost energy density five-fold and power by six-fold without elaborating. Those numbers, of course, sound very familiar if you watch Tesla's Battery Day, where Tesla said that this new cell format had five times the energy of the 2170 cell and six times the power over the 2170 cell. Now, there is one caveat, however. If you look at the article and you look at what LG said, they said energy density fivefold. When Tesla talked about five times the energy being found in the 4680 battery cell, that does not mean five times the energy density. It just means because of the larger format, it has five times more energy capacity than the 2170 cell. However, six times the power does match up nicely. And it's also possible that this quote from LG was lost in translation and maybe they didn't mean five times the energy density and they just meant five times the energy. Electric also in September reported that Tesla was looking to acquire stake in LG's battery business. In this Electric article, they cited the Korea Times, and I found that article, and I did a Google Translate of this article and found that Tesla is exploring around a 10% stake in LG Chem. So the one thing we know for sure is that LG Chem is making the nickel manganese based batteries for Tesla in the Model Y in Shanghai. But with all the other evidence that I talked about, I really feel pretty confident that this new cell made by LG for Tesla will be in the new 4680 cell format. However, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, it's really exciting to see how close we are to Made in China Model Ys being delivered to the first customers in China. Exciting days are ahead for Tesla. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I put up new videos. Also, if you did like the video, please make sure and click that like button because that helps other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help me make this video content. A special thank you to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, Inku Kang, and also Laura Sanborn, as well as the other supporters who support me and make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.